Okay, welcome friends to IR4 at Silverstone. Well, Silverstone uh, is a track that I'm not too familiar with, but uh, we're going to see how we do. We qualified P3, so, and I'm, I'm up, uh, you know, with uh, better drivers now, 2.K, two, two you know, 1.8s, and, um, you know, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and ring the bell and Leave a comment, man. I love to hear from you guys. So in this race, I was called a dirty driver. So let's see what your opinion is on whether or not I'm a dirty driver. So um, Pablo Batista, the guy in the one car in the green to my right, says I'm a dirty driver. Let's see what happens. Red lights, green lights. Here we go. So you can see Pablo on the right, and uh, the 14 car overtakes us both. Got a great start. Great start. And, um, we're, you know, first turn, we're just trying to be safe. So we cut off the inside. We cut it off so nobody can dive bomb us. And uh, we get right in behind Pablo. Um, nothing weird so far. And then here Pablo gets a little wiggle. And you can see I'm going to take a better exit. In, I mean entrance into this. And I'm going to get a better exit where I get a little wider, use a little more track. And I pick up, you know, some draft and speed. And I'm Still right beside there. him, and we're pretty close. Uh, I don't think it was anything bad there. Just nice, tight racing. And here we go. And um, we fall right into third place, right where we uh, qualified. So that was good. The 14 car that was uh, back quite a bit, he, uh, you know, he got a great start. He's in second. I mean, what a nice start he got. I should figure out, uh, call him, I mean, uh, send him a thing and find out how he gets that, that good of a start. Uh, that was a mistake by me. I go in here. I should have stayed wide there. I noticed uh, when I watched this race back that I wasn't getting wide enough in that corner. And my first time through Maggots and Beckett's here, um, I'm tentative because the tires are cold. Uh, you know, you don't want to lose it here. You don't. <clears throat> but you can see, you know. I got pretty good pace. I'm hanging in there. Um, the, the leaders are starting to pull away. Nothing I can do about that. Pablo's still behind me. Nothing I can do about that. So I'm a little wide out of that corner. Uh, and you can look in the top right. Pablo goes a little under me. No problem. I stay in my lane. I beat him to the apex. Just, I don't see anything wrong there. You guys can watch it. And, um... He's right on my tail here, right on my tail. So I go defensive, and I leave him a little space there, just enough. And he doesn't make a move on the outside. I think Pablo's problem was he didn't know how to pass on the outside. So he only knew how to pass on the inside. So he called me dirty, and then after him not being able to get by me, two guys got by me pretty easily on the outside. So, I mean, I didn't have super pace. But right now, he keeps attacking me, so the leaders are starting to break away. And I think people get the idea that um, that if, you're, if you have a big space between you and the cars in front, they think that you're slow. But the thing is, if people keep attacking you the whole time, um, you're going to be slow. You're going to have to defend, and, and it slows everybody down and allows the leaders to break away. And um, <clears throat> that's what happened in this race. So as you can see, Pablo's still behind me. Um, Osman and Daniel Perez, Peranis is behind him. Pablo goes wide there. He gets a good exit. Coming into Maggots and Beckett's. I'm still going to be a little bit tentative here. I, I give it a little bit of early braking because the tires are still cold. I don't want to wreck out on the second lap. You know, I'm looking at a possible top three here. And if, if not, I'm going to get a good finish. And, um, you know, bring home some I rating and, you know, have a nice finish. So here's Pablo here. I give him room on the outside. He takes the inside. So I squeeze him down on the apron. He didn't like that. You know what, Pablo? Too bad. I gave you the outside. You went for the inside. You had every right to go for the inside. But I had every right for my lane, too. And then I overshot that. That was a bad corner. And I think I was thinking about that last corner. And I overshot. 
but um, the guys behind me weren't able to get around me there. But you'll see, now they're both in front of Pablo. Both um, Osman and Daniel are both in front of Pablo. So we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> so Pablo had uh, two laps to get by me and he couldn't pull it off. And he goes really wide there into that corner. And he's starting a fight with the 17 car, I think. So here we go. We get a pretty good exit there. Osman's 0.5 behind us, 0.4. Um, Daniel's 0.8. I think they're both a little faster than me. Uh, like I said, I just, I, I'm, I'm consistent on this track. I'm okay, but I don't feel like I'm fast on this track. And that happens sometimes. Some tracks, like Road Atlanta, I was, I felt really quick on Road Atlanta. On this track, uh, I feel like I'm hanging on a little bit. And again, you can see in the top right, we're pretty bunched together. Got a nice race going on here between us. The leaders are gone. They're gone. Because of all the fighting that was going on. Um, they're 4.7, 3.4. They're in a race of their own now. So, we get better, better through Maggots and Beckett's there. Much, much better. We had to lift a little there, but... I think that was much better. And look, I'm defending the inside right away. And Osman goes outside. He knows I'm giving him that lane. He didn't try to go on to me. And he outbreaks me. And they both make it by me clean, Osman and Dan. No problem. Easy, easy breezy. I'm not that fast in that section. Pablo's back behind me again. And I'm trying to stay with these two guys. <coughs> So I'm hanging on their tail. I don't feel like I'm having any trouble staying with these two. And then through this corner, I get a run. I definitely get a run on them. But uh, there's not a lot I can do. I probably should have followed the red car, but I was worried there. So I slowed down. Pablo comes to my inside. Look, I give him plenty of space. I get a little wide there, but not on purpose. Just, you know, miss my braking. And I don't see any problem there either. You know, I'm trying to stay with the guys in front of me, fighting through a tough section. I didn't, you know, I just maybe got a little bit, not enough break, or maybe a little too late on the break. So I went a little wide, but I don't think, you know, that's nothing. And now I'm still trying to stay with these two in the front. And you can see uh, Pablo starting to fight with the guy behind him. So, <clears throat> here we go. We're on lap four. And um, just hanging in there. Uh, the cars behind me are starting to fall back now. I got a gap. One second, they're starting to fight. So, yeah, now we're getting away because they're starting to fight. And... You know, I showed in a video a couple videos ago. And look, um, oh, here comes Osman. He gets off, and he's going to get a slowdown. So he's got to slow down. And I think it's a big one, too, because, yeah, he had to slow way down. And, um, of course, we're going to, now we're going to really get a, a, a gap. So we get a little off track there. No big deal. I only had two incident points in this race, so that doesn't sound like a dirty driver to me. Um, and here we go. We're coming in, coming in now. Um, Daniel's starting to pull away from us, but nothing we can do about that. We're now 1.6 ahead of the guys behind. They're going to start fighting, and the gap starts opening up in front and behind. So now we're falling into no man's land. We're not really fast enough to stay with this guy in front. I, I just don't have the speed to do it. I'm trying, I just don't have it, unless he makes a big mistake, and I make a mistake there, which makes it even worse. But look at the cars behind us, they're falling back, 2.4, 2.7, they're battling it out. They were, and, and Pablo's in there too, so we got a three car battle behind us, they're all slowing each other down, and here we go. We're coming in, lap five, and big gap in front now, big gap behind. 
And this is how the rest of the race went. It just went like this. There was nothing that happened. So I decided to cut the video and just go to um, lap 10. Um, not on this lap, but the next lap because this is pretty much how the rest of the race went. I stayed in fourth, the guys in front, nobody crashed. The guys behind had problems, but they never um, closed any gaps. Um, so a little spoiler, you know. Um, you know, it's pretty much this the whole race. I'll show the last lap, but please do me a favor. Stay around for the crashes at the end, because I did something a little different, and I want to see if you like it. I thought it was pretty funny, but. Uh, hopefully you guys will stay around and leave me a comment. Uh, usually I, I sometimes watch the crashes and make comments on them. But, you know, I sometimes you feel bad because you actually kind of feel like you're making fun of people for their misfortune. So what I did was um, I put some music to it. I let the music make fun of them. So, <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a lot of crashes. You don't realize when you're up front like this and here comes lap number 10. But you don't realize when you're all by yourself up front and there's no racing going on, you just don't realize how many wrecks there are. You know? You don't. It's, it's unbelievable. My brother Kenny left a comment last week and he says the longer you stay in the race, he says the less cars there is. And I said, yeah, that's a, that's a big part of it. It's just to race clean and, and try to pick up some scraps as you're trying to, you know, do better. Um, if more people race like that, you know, racing would be a lot better. <clears throat> so here we go. We're just doing our last lap. Just kind of hot lapping it from here. You can see the guys in front are now five seconds in front. The guys behind are 1.1. I think I made a mistake. and they were, they were three seconds back, and then they closed in. But I never felt like they were threatening me, ever. Even now he's, what, 1.3? Never really felt like it was a threat at all. Um, and I think we got a couple more corners, and that'll be the race. And then I'll show you all the stats, and we'll do the crashes. And I hope you hung around. Uh, it's a pretty short video, so that's kind of cool. Um, you know, won't take up too much of your time. And I thought it was pretty good race at the beginning. And I drove pretty consistently. I wasn't super fast. You could see I'm 203.3. And even two guys behind me had faster laps than me. But I ran consistent laps. But I, I just wasn't super fast on this track. You know, some tracks I really feel like I got it. And some tracks... So here we come, into the chicane for the last time. We get a decent exit, no problem, I'm just kind of cruising in. And we're crossing the start finish line, and there we are, P4. Now, P4, you know, I'm, I'm in the higher I rating okay, now. I'll take top fives, you know. I hope to get faster. And here's the stats, so we got, uh, we got plus 14 on our safety rating. Plus 63 on our ID ray rating. We were in the second split. And, sorry about that subscribe button. And we only had two incident points. But look at the leader. None, one, and here's the crashes.
I'll see you next time.